Beloved Masters, the feminine qualities of the Creator or the Goddess Energy is the most predominant force on Earth during this time of the Great Shift of the Ages. The Goddess is here to initiate the return to harmony, balance and harmony within all things, beginning with the balanced energies, attributes, qualities, and virtues of our Father or Mother God. The middle path within the holographic thought form and the structure of polarity and duality is becoming more and more apparent. Many diverse facets of creation are moving deeper into the process of reunification. It is apparent at every level throughout the universe and especially on planet Earth. One of the most important facets within the shift of the ages is the return of the Divine Goddess and the reunification of the masculine and feminine qualities and attributes of our Father or Mother God. The universe is composed of millions of vibrational and frequency patterns, all of which originated from the heart or mind of the Supreme Creator. All that ever has been or ever will be is stored within the core essence of all that is. When the Supreme Creator stirred and brought forth the desire to experience more of itself, through the creative dynamics of manifestation, the first separation and individualized manifestation was the masculine or feminine, positive or negative, or the vibrations of opposites called polarity. The father or mother energies came together again, which created a combustive or explosive force field and thereby created the son and daughter white fire memory seed atoms, or the sun aspects. This is the sacred triad, the triangle, the sacred three of esoteric teachings. The father or mother creator energies expanded into twelve great beings in our sub-universe. Our solar system resonates to the harmonics of seven, however, it is now in the process of returning to the galactic harmonics of twelve. The strongest force in the omniverse is the love force which is radiated through the essence of the feminine or goddess energy of the creator. First, the masculine essence of the creator brings forth seeds of new creation within its mind resulting in a divine blueprint which is then enfolded within the love core or the emotional nature of the goddess essence. A wondrous and magnificent process is thereby initiated resulting in creations beyond your greatest imaginings. You, as humans, are one of those magnificent creations. A wondrous time has come, a time for which we have long waited. Yes, you too have awaited the arrival of this blessed event even though you knew not what it was. The focus for many thousands of years has been on God as the Father, and you have sought to embody His dominant virtues and attributes, power, will, wisdom, truth, and valor. Now it is time for the Goddess, your Mother God, to radiate the fullness of her love, compassion, creativity and wisdom throughout this sub-universe. Every facet of creation is being touched and affected by this awesome gift. Just as surely as you came forth into the world from the cradling warmth of your mother's womb, so did we all burst forth as spirit from the womb of our Divine Mother God. From our Father God's Divine Mind Essence came white fire seed atoms of creation, which were radiated forth into the heart center or core the cosmic womb of our Mother God's being. Then through their unified desire, we were radiated forth into individualized consciousness spiritual expressions of such great and complex variety, it is beyond comprehension. We have explained to you, over these many past years, how the rays of cosmic consciousness have changed colors as well as frequencies during each root race and sub-root race era or age how they have been increased or diminished in force depending on the new divine blueprint, what was needed at the time, or what was to be experienced and integrated within a certain era of humanity's passage through the many ages. You also have heard of the Golden Ray, which represents and carries the radiance, virtues and attributes of our Father God, and of the Silver Ray, which radiates the reflective virtues of our Mother God. We tell you now, this Silver Ray is just a minuscule facet of her awesome power and radiance. The new energy that is now pouring down upon the Earth and humanity has been called the Platinum Ray, the Diamond Ray, and the Crystalline Ray, but no matter what you call it, it cannot describe the magnificence of this miraculous gift that is being given to all creation. It is the memory of the perfect love of your Mother God, described by the ancients as the Holy Spirit, that you have yearned for and sought throughout these many ages, precious ones. A place within your heart center has ached that could not be filled by anything or anyone in the physical expression. 
the time has come for that place to be filled to overflowing with her unconditional love, compassion, strength and purity all you have to do is remove the insulation from around your heart or soul chamber your sacred heart and allow her radiance to enter. I hear the whispers in your minds, beloveds, but am I worthy? We tell each and every one of you, yes, you are worthy no reservations, no exceptions. Yes, the universal laws are enforced here as with everything laws which will determine through your vibrational frequencies how much of this energy you will be able to integrate. But without exception, it is available to all, and eventually, a white fire seed atom of this rarefied love potion will be ignited within every heart, and in every corner and facet of creation. It cannot be otherwise, for it has always been there, however, it became diminished in radiance each time you sank deeper into the density of the material planes of consciousness. You see, it is time for reunification at all levels, from the highest to the lowest, therefore, the attributes, aspects and virtues of the Mother Creator will be the dominant force in this sub-universe until a balance between your divine masculine and feminine nature is once more attained. Your DNA is encoded with divine love, compassion and creativity, as well as the strength, power and the will to create, which were passed on to all sentient beings by our spiritual parents. This is a vital component in attaining unity consciousness once more. We have focused on and tried to explain why so many of you are experiencing distress, discomfort and uncertainty, and yet, at other times a sense of great joy, wonder and expectation well up from within. Some are calling it the light worker's syndrome, and this is an appropriate title. Here again, you cannot even begin to comprehend what is happening to you and your earth as well as this sub-universe and the entire universe. You are mutating as your DNA strands are unbundled and activated, and your brain is slowly being refined and upgraded. You are also reconnecting to your cosmic lineage as you move along the skeins of time, back to the time when you separated from your fifth dimensional sacred triad and began your journey into the density of the fourth or third dimensional realms of materiality. Envision the column of light that your spinal column has become or is becoming and see it move down into the crystalline core of the earth. Then observe the expanded sensation you feel as it extends out of your crown chakra until it connects with your fifth dimensional sacred triad. Now envision other smaller beams projecting out horizontally from your column of light as they touch and merge with individual souls in physical embodiment your soul or star family here on earth with you. These energy projections are not the same as those you extended to others in the past, in the third dimensional expression. Those projections were attachments which were intended to control, possess, or siphon energy. The rays of light you are now projecting carry the virtues of unconditional love, compassion, and unity. Observe the rays of energy you have projected, which are part of you, and the radiance you are reclaiming, as they connect with your soul family on the earthly planes of consciousness, as well as with the masters, angelic beings, and those with whom you have a great affinity. Yes. See your beam of light connecting and merging with my energy, and with that of the other beloved archangels, as well as those of every great being you know and recognize, and even some you do not remember. The time will come when you will be ready to merge, in full consciousness, into the heart center of our Father or Mother God within this sub-universe. This will occur in the far distant future, but we assure you, it will happen. For now. Allow yourselves to get used to the idea that you are becoming multidimensional beings of light. You are projecting your essence, the unique being you have become, into the realms of the higher inner dimensions and out into the solar system and galaxy. You are following your own individual path homeward journeying back through the past toward your glorious future. Beloveds, when anyone speaks of a coming or predicted event in a negative way, why not give them another viewpoint, another possibility, or probable future? Ask them to help us manifest the highest outcome so that you may experience this transition into the light with joy, ease, and grace. It is a time of golden opportunities do not miss out on the gifts that are being offered you. Know that I am with you as you expand into the light and reclaim your rightful place as a beloved child of our Mother or Father God. I am Archangel Michael.